sometimes it comes down to bribing or threatening yourself, often both at the same time, when you want to get the job done. For example, I often combine a threat with a bribe and reward myself with a leisurely afternoon walk with my dog or even alone, but only if I finish all of my work by, say, 4 o'clock. If I'm not done by 4 o'clock, I have to work. That's the carrot. The, the carrot is the walk, which I enjoy, and so does the dog. Um, if I don't finish everything, I don't reward myself with a pleasant walk. I punish myself uh, by working until all the MITs, all the most important tasks, are finished. That's the stick, the threat. More work instead of a nice walk. For the past few years, I've used this carrot and stick thing for every book I've written or co-written. It works like this. If I finish the book on time, I buy myself a vintage Hawaiian shirt. If I don't finish the book on time, I donate one of my prized uh, Hawaiian shirts to Goodwill. The bottom line is I like Hawaiian shirts and I have yet to miss a book deadline. I, I can't say for sure it's because of the carrot and the stick, but it doesn't hurt. Now, I'm not saying that a carrot and a stick is going to incentivize you if nothing else has. But your mileage may vary, but since I often make such deals with myself, I'd be remiss if I didn't at least throw it out there and give a passing nod to the good old carrot and stick approach. What I am saying is this. It isn't a bad idea to make deals with yourself if it helps you, or don't make deals with yourself if they don't. You have to be honest with yourself. There's one last thing. Do goals have a role? And that's something we'll explore in the last real lesson in this section, lesson eight. Do goals have a role?